Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to do uh, histograms using R. So let's get started. Uh, I'll be using data set. Uh, I have set this as my working directory, which is on the desktop. So if you go to the desktop, there is a folder called R project. And in that folder, I have data sets, which is my current working directory. And that is the data set which is in CSV file. So if I double click this one, you will see that I have gender, I have day one, day two, and day three data. These are some sort of hygiene score rated from one to four. A one mean not very hygiene, two four mean very high, very high hygiene score. Okay, so what we really want to do here is we want to do the histogram and see the distribution of the data. Uh, most of the statistical analysis that you would perform assume normal distribution. And to check the assumption of normality, the best thing you could do is uh, do the histograms. And histogram will tell you the distribution of the data. So in this video, we'll see how we plot the histogram and how to do the uh, quantel, quantel plot as well. So let's get started here. This is the data I'll be using. So as, as you know from my earlier video, first thing we have to do is we have to load ggplot2 package. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not gonna do that. But let's say, you know, you say yes here, it might restart the session and load it and again, you know, since I already have it, it's gonna keep showing me this one. So I will say no here. Uh, and then I will, uh, I will load the, the package in my library. Okay, I'll set the working directory. And this is gonna give me my working directory as of now. And I will pull my data from festival.csv. So that's my data and I want to show first and records and we already went through the data. Uh, let's do the simple histogram of count. So, so I'm gonna say my histogram, let's say my histogram and I want to create the first layer ggplot and give my reference to my data, histogram data, that's a name here that we have given and then we have to define aesthetics uh, by simply mentioning our uh, field name which is day one in this case okay and then we'll add another layer plus uh, let's say we are going to add geo underscore histogram okay so this should do the trick and then I just want to show my histogram Let's see how this looks like. So it created a histogram and showing me all the bins here. By default, there are 30 bins. Uh, and as you see, the color is being used as black. And often this is not very friendly, but you can see that you have hygiene score from zero to four. Uh, zero means not very hygiene and four means very highly hygiene. And then you have count of cases um, in each of those bin. By default, um, R uses 30 bin, you know, is mentioned here, uses 30 bins. And you can, you know, come up with a better bin width, which we, can, we are going to do next. So what we really want to do here is we want to first change the color. Uh, we'll fill the bars uh, with white color and with the boundary of black. And we will set the bin width to 0.5. I don't know what is the bin width right now, but it looks very small here. Okay, so I will copy this one here. So this is. So here I also wanted to add labels, which I did not do it. So I will quickly do it here. So I'm just gonna add labels, so I say title equals, let's say festival, festival distribution. Let's say festival high 
gene score distribution. That's the name of my chart here. And X will have gene score on day one. And let's do Y equals frequency, okay? So frequency. And I would like to break it down into multiple lines. So let's see this one, okay? So this should work, okay? This is working, so it gives a name to our chart and the data here. Uh, then moving along, uh, let's do, let's set the bin width and the color and everything else. So I will say here, bin width equals, let's use 0.5, okay? Fill, I want to use the fill to white color. And let's say boundary color should be black. Okay, and I want to add my uh, labels here. So, say plus. Uh, so, looks like I already have it plus here. Okay, so let's see. So you see, you know, we decrease the bandwidth. Uh, we sort of, you know, decrease the number of beans, increase the bandwidth, okay? So this uh, still looks up very, pretty similar, but you know, the idea here is you should be able to come up with the appropriate uh, bean width that you're looking for, okay? That will depend on you as the researcher, okay? Now, uh, so this is frequency here, right? So often we want to plot the normal distribution curve on this histogram and see how normally distributed the data is. And this is important in most of the stat statistical analysis. For example, we have a gender here as well, right? So if you want to compare whether the mean hygiene score differs across uh, male and female, between male and female, then you know you would uh, have to assume the normality of the data for each category. Okay, so for that, we have to use a little different trick. We're not going to be using what we call, you know, frequency anymore here, but we will rather use a density. And let's get going here. I'll just copy this one here. And uh, let's Tab this one, so okay. Okay, so uh, here what we need to do, uh, we will just stick with our narrow bins here, and here we have to use aesthetics function and specify that we want to use density, okay density and this should do the trick here so you'll see that instead of frequency you will have uh, probability values here okay okay so uh, let's see what uh, is going on here Okay. Stats bin requires uh, X and Y aesthetics. Okay. So let me see here. Oh, so here we have to say Y equals, okay? So that's what it means, you know, uh, it's, it was looking for Y aesthetics here. So Y axis, uh, Y axis should represent the density of the data, okay? So that should fix it, okay? So it's using default 30 bins. And instead of frequency here, we will say this is the density. 
okay now uh, let's run it again so what do you mean by density here basically all it, all it means is the you know entire area under this plot it will be equal to one okay and each bar will represent the the area which is related to relative frequency okay so so basically normal distribution curve also have area under it as one okay so this will allow us to fit the normal distribution curve uh, uh, on this particular chart here okay so uh, so here we want to project the normal distribution curve so i'll just copy this one put it here and let's do here okay and here let's add uh, our normal distribution curve and for that we have to use stat function and this is a little lengthy function so stay with me here so we have to specify function equals d norm okay this is a normal distribution that we want to plot uh then we have to supply the arguments so arguments equals uh, list and here we need to specify the mean and the standard deviation so i'm going to say mean uh equals so i will say mean of my data so my histogram data and supply the field name which is day one okay so that's the mean and i would say na dot rm equals true this will remove the missing values okay by you know so so we don't need to worry about that so this one here and then i will do the standard deviation so standard deviation equals uh, standard deviation of my histogram data and get my first uh, field day one here and again ignore the missing values so na dot rm equals true okay so this will uh, go ahead and plot the Plot superimpose the what we call uh, normal distribution curve on the top of this one. Okay, so uh, so let's let's run this one and see how it looks like. So you see that it superimposed normal distribution curve and you can set the, you know, uh, what do you call the color of the curve as well. So let's say here, we'll say, you know, color equal, let's say we want to use blue. Okay. And uh, I want a size of equals one. Okay, so if you use size equals two, you'll see much thicker line. Okay, so it's a very thick line, right? So we can say it's to size one. Okay, so this gives you a nice normal distribution curve. And you see that the data is very highly normally distributed here. The second thing what we want to do is besides the uh, superimposition of normal distribution curve, you also want to do the quantile quantile plot. Uh, and let, let's go ahead and do that one. So for that we have to use uh, geom underscore QQ function. Let's do stats underscore QQ function for that first. So I'm going to say here my QQ plot. ggplot of my histogram data and here AES there's a little change here we have to say sample sample equals day one otherwise it won't work we cannot just supply day one anymore okay and 
let's close this one here okay okay and here what we need to do here is uh, let's go ahead and invoke stat underscore qq function okay and uh, that should be it okay let's do my qq plot okay so if you run this one here you see that you know uh, it is plotting all the points here now we can also add a line uh, so i will say here stat underscore qq underscore line okay so this diagonal diagonal line represents a normal normally distributed data so the closer the points are uh, along this diagonal line the more the normal or normally distributed the data is that's something to keep in mind so in this case it is you know very normally distributed data okay and you can do a bunch of other things as well for example i can set the color of my points here so color equals let's say red okay so this will do the red color i can set the opacity of the data points so by setting the alpha alpha equals 0.2 because as it's too dark and you can see the alpha is misspelled here so you'll see that you know they're fading out so you can see there are are more concentration of points along the center here and then it fades out there okay and you can set the line here as well color equals let's say blue okay so I'll give the blue color now uh, we can do the similar plot uh, by instead of using uh, stats underscore qq function we can use geom function they are very similar you won't see any difference geom here and geom here okay so they are very similar you're not going to see any difference uh, let's add a uh, gender here okay so what we are going to do here is i'll say color equals gender because i have gender and let's see what it does as is so it might not produce any you know distinction because we are overwriting that color with um, the you know color mentioned in our subsequent layers so that's not going to work okay so since we specify the color at the top level we want that to be used applied to all the subsequent layers and you'll see that you know it, it will produce uh, two different uh, um, basically you know uh, qq plot one for the male and one for the female okay and if you want a different charts so what you can do is as you know from my earlier video facet underscore wrap and i'll say do it by gender okay so it will produce two different plots and as you know you can uh, get rid of this uh, you know uh, theme uh, let's say what do you have there so let me just quickly see that So we'll say LEGE and the legend dot position equals none. Okay. So this should take care of my legions there. Okay. Now at, at the last you can just quickly save this one. Just use gg save function here and say you know qq let's say qq plot one if you want to save it to default size and i'm um, say png you can use different file formats okay and you can give it a different size as well so for example here if you want to save it by five by five inch uh image so you can say width equals five and height equals five 
okay so let's go ahead and uh, call this as two so we have different files so this is default image and if you go back to your folder you'll see that you know these two files are saved okay so this is how you would do simple uh, histogram plot and qq plot and superimpose normal distribution to uh, sort of assess the, the normality of the data thank you very much for watching this video